video you'll only see on WLKY, you hear the wailing of police sirens during a pursuit and see an officer fall to the ground as his spike strips and other equipment become tangled under the suspect's speeding car. That officer is Nelson County Sheriff Raymond Penaroa, who raced to the scene when he heard about the chase entering his county. It happened just before five Sunday evening on Christmas Eve. Food was ready. We were getting ready to go to my in-laws. Yeah. <laughs> Kentucky State Police were in pursuit of 32-year-old Ja'Cory Thomas, who was wanted on charges out of Ohio. They had tried to stop them for speeding in Hardin County, but Thomas took off. The sheriff posted up just a few miles down the road at exit 21 of the Bluegrass Parkway. He was still going uh, pretty lead foot. You know, five miles later, he's still at it. So I said, I'll set out spike strips again. Now, responding officers had already thrown down several spike strips. The suspect was driving on at least one flat tire when the sheriff got involved right down here. But when he threw down his spike strips, he knew almost immediately something hadn't gone right. When he came around, he and I pulled the spike strips and he got them. They got tangled up in underneath his car and that's when the pulling began. Incredibly, the sheriff managed to get back up. Then he tried to drive himself to the hospital, but eventually called for help. His fingers were cut deep and the bleeding wouldn't stop. Penaro admits he's thought about what he could have done differently. I think what I did is I grabbed it like this and pulled it so I didn't have to move. But really, he's thought a lot about how fortunate he is it didn't turn out worse. Blessed, lucky, you name it. I got all 10. In Nelson County, Lord Adams, WLKY News. Ja'Cory Thomas is from Cincinnati, but he's still locked up in Hardin County tonight. He's facing multiple charges related to the chase, including assault on a police officer.